So if you can't guess from the screen already, Gaz, please tell the good folks at home what we've received today. Today we've received our Linean Fire Clips. And these ones are to support twin and earth cables, PVC, PVC, twin and CPC cables to prevent them from premature collapsing in the event of a fire. So we're really excited to receive these. We're really excited to trial them and have a look at them. So I think we cut to the table and I think we start having a chat about these. Let's do that, Joe. So Joe, we're going to be looking again at something very dear to our hearts. Yep. We're going to be looking at the prevention of premature collapsing of a wiring system mm -hmm. in the event of a fire. Absolutely. So this was one of the big changes that came into effect with the 18th edition. We need to make sure that if we've got surface mounted yep. wiring systems in a building, we need to make sure that they are prevented from falling off the wall in the event of a fire and causing entanglement. Because yeah. of course, if we're just using plastic clips, a yep. fire breaks out, that cable can fall off the wall and can cause serious problems. So what, what kind of problems are we looking at with this, guys? Why is this so important? So we're looking at people trying to exit the building yep. that could be entangled in the wiring system, trying yep. to fight their way out, yep. okay? However, that that is a concern, mm -hmm. but more often than not, it's the concern of the fire officers mm -hmm. entering the building once it's ablaze yeah. and then becoming entangled when they're doing the rescuing of the yeah. people that are in there. Yeah. So it's super important mm. that the surface wiring system is maintained for a period of time, not specified by BS7671, sure. in order to prevent it from premature collapsing. And we're going yeah. to look at some of those fixings in this video. Fantastic. Okay, then, Joe, so we've mocked up supporting a cable on the surface onto a wooden joist and currently we're using uh, plastic clips to hold it in. Do I need to replace all of these now Joe with metallic clips? Not necessarily. Basically what we're looking at is making sure that if a fire was to break out and if that cable was to lose its plastic supports, yep. would the metal supports that you're about to install stop it from falling to a level where someone could get entangled in it? Unfortunately this is one of those areas of the regs where there's no direct guidance on distances between fixings and things like that. It's just a matter of it comes down to the electrician's judgment. So we need to look at this and think, how can I be sure that this is going to stay at a high enough height should the plastic supports fail in the event of a fire to prevent entanglement? Okay, so what you're saying then, it's really down to the judgment of the electrician Absolutely. or the design engineer. Yeah. So we're going to mock up and we're going to fill, um, fix one into the wooden joist itself. Um, I'm going to need to open up the pack of linear fire clips. Okay, and these are designed for one millimeter squared. It says twin and earth here, so I'm presuming it's twin and CPC cables over. So twin and earth cable. So we're going to open those up and have a look at what we've got inside. So. Okay, so we've got a metallic fixing. Doesn't require any uh, wall plugs on brick surfaces or block surfaces, and obviously we're going straight into wood, but it will require me to drill a hole. So if I pass these to you, Joe, can yep. you give us a rundown of the instructions? So what's gonna prevent this from falling out of the fixing, guys, once you've inserted it? Well, the fact that it is metallic and mm -hmm. by design, okay, so you can see it's fully sprung open here. We're actually gonna squeeze it into the hole in which we drill. Right. And I believe the force of the reopening will hold it into whether it be brick, block, or wood yep. in order to support it. And it's got those little barbs on the legs as well it to has, prevent yes. them from... Be very careful, yeah, very sharp, yeah. yeah those yeah, to fantastic. grip the surface as it's uh, inserted. Okay, so I'm gonna read you the instructions directly okay. off the back of the packet. There's only three of them, so I don't think we can, even we can mess this up, guys. Okay. So we've got drill six millimeter diameter hole into the required material. Okay. So do you have a six millimeter wood bit there? I do. Excellent. Let's get that drilled in. Okay. So I'm going to. I'm not going to measure it for this. This is just purely to show you how easy they are. My students in previous uh, presentations would be saying to me, "Why am I not uh, measuring it?" Okay. So I'm going to give a rough idea of where we're going. So we're going to go about Excellent. there. Very good. And we're going to drill. Right. Okay, well, I'm going to take a clip and we're going to insert that into there. So I've got it round the cable Very nice. before I insert it into the actual hole okay. in which... So, so it's seated in a rounded area and then instruction three, compress the linear clip legs and simply insert in the hole by hand. Okay. Surely we'll need to get a hammer on that, guys. That's unreal, that is. Wow. I've never ever done that before. That's gone in a treat. So I'm that just going fantastic. to give it a little pull. That looks pretty solid to me. Okay. You've got fingers like biceps, so if that was going to come out, it'd come out now. Press it, you can that's, tell. That's incredible, and that is the first time I've ever fitted one of those, and that was really, really simple. Fantastic. 
I'll go on, I can, I can clip the rest of them now for a certain uh, length, Joe. Is there a guidance in beer 7671? Again, no specific value will be given. Uh, you've got to use your own judgment to make sure that that's not gonna fall off the joist and entangle someone should those plastic fixings that we're using fail. Okay, I think what we should do now is take it and this is block wall. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's do block wall. Right then guys, so we've got all the kit that we need now. We've yep. got a PPE sorted out. So what's the first step in fixing this linear fire clip? We're going to use our six mil masonry drill bit in order to drill the same size hole as we did when we were in timber. Okay. I'm going to give it a miss at the moment on the dust mask. Okay, there'll be people out looking from afar saying, why weren't you wearing a dust mask? Just to communicate with the camera, Joe, for this time, I'm going to leave the dust mask out. And I'm just going to drill into the breeze block uh, with my masonry drill bit and see if it's as simple as it was in the timber in order to fix it. Okay, let's go for it. Taking the clip. Beautiful. So Bree's not the hardest thing to drill in the world, so no. that was nice and easy. Not at all. So and then we'll try and do the clip. So again, this is a bit, just wrap it into the cable. So around the cable, like so, okay. and then squeeze up. This is the bit you've got to be a little bit careful on because obviously those barbs on there are a little sharp. Yeah. Okay, so we squeeze it all the way up. And then we'll go around the cable, so position that a little bit better. Into the hole. There we go. And that was just pushed in by hand there. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm not a skeptical kind of guy, Harry, okay? But that looked a little bit too easy. So I think what we need to do is we need to uh, pause for a moment and I think we're going to have a bit of a haul on that and see if we can get that to come out the wall because uh, that just seemed too easy to be a permanent uh, metallic fixing. So let's have a look. Right then, Gary. Now, I can't believe how easily that linear fire clip went in there. That seemed to just slide into the wall once you'd got it aligned properly. It just almost fell in. It did. So, I'm a little bit concerned that that's not going to hold in as well as we'd like. Now, okay. we can be really confident that, of course, the good people at Linian have done all the relevant testing on this and that it conforms to all the necessary standards and it's going to perform properly. But let's do our own little visual test now. Yeah. Okay, so what, what's happening on the wall there? I've drilled another six mil hole, yep. and I'm just going to secure it again using the linear fire clip. Okay, yep. and then I'm going to haul back on my own personal weight. So oh, okay. being a strapping nine stone lad, we'll see if it can hold my nine stone weight. Sorry, nine stone, yeah? Yeah, thereabouts. So okay. I was nine once. Okay. <laughs> so pushed into the hole, exactly the same as before. Right, and again, that's gone in easy as anything. Yeah, it's, it's in. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going now, to position my feet. Don't lean back too heavily, because I think you might hit the deck, yeah? yeah okay. okay, let's see. That's your weight. Yeah, I've got, if you look at my feet, that. my yep. feet, I know you probably can't see on camera, my feet, the heels are off the ground and I'm leaning fully back on that. If that gives way, I am on the deck. My oh, goodness. And let's face it, there's not many nine stone cables that we're going to be hanging from the uh, Twin and Earth clip there, are we? That is fantastic. That really is, I can't believe how well that performed there. That is amazing. Fantastic. So what do you reckon, guys? If you were gonna do an installation and you needed to ensure that you were preventing the premature collapse of a wiring system, would you be happy to use the Linean Fire Clip as a solution to that? The Linean Fire Clip is the solution for me. I can't find anything else currently for PVC, PVC, Twin and CPC or Twin and Earth yep. cables. It goes in incredibly easy. There is no plastic involved either. It grips into the surfaces we looked at. We looked at you know, wood, we've looked at now breeze. Yep. Okay, I've got no concerns at all that that's going to give way in the event of a fire. Absolutely brilliant. What a great product. Cool. That was interesting, wasn't it, Joe? Yeah, really enjoyed that. We know how good linear fire clips have been supporting mineral insulated and FPs yep. and fire tufts in the past. Yep. Exactly the same process, yep. as simple as drilling a hole, yep. pushing the fixing in, yep. and it's securing it in place with no, yep. no plastic fixings or anything, is it? I can't believe how easy it was, just how straightforward it was, and, and not a struggle to push them in and absolutely solidly fixed. Genius little bit of kit there, I love them. So can we summarise whether we do or don't like this product? 100% do like them, absolutely. I think they're fantastic. Anything that over time will save lives, yep. um, whether that be people exiting buildings or yep. entering buildings in order to rescue people, yep. uh, is a really good idea. And we love the fact that, I, I don't think we found any other ones for PVC, PVC, Twin and CPC I've cable. Not, I've not come across any, no. Or I should say Twin any. and Earth for those people, yeah. <laughs> so, so as far as I'm concerned, this is the first clip that I've found 
that supports PVC, PVC twin and CPC cables. Yep. It's a lovely gray color, means it matches and blends in really well, yep. doesn't it? You can hardly see it's there, yeah. if anything. Yeah. So in summary then, we like the linear fire clips. We think they're a great idea and a great little product. Yep, absolutely. And they're gonna save lives.